Remember, when handling any gun, think safety first. Wear safety glasses and always keep the gun pointed in a safe direction. You should feel, strip, and clean your pistol every 500 rounds under normal shooting conditions. The environment you shoot in or the type of ammunition you use may demand more frequent cleaning. To field strip a Colt 1911-22, make sure it is on safe and unloaded. Remove the magazine and make sure the gun is unloaded. Open the slide and visibly check to make certain there are no cartridges in the chamber. Let the slide go forward and engage the thumb safety to lock the slide in the lock position. Set the gun on its rear end, muzzle pointing up. Push the recoil spring down and rotate the barrel bushing clockwise. Remove the spring, then rotate the barrel bushing counterclockwise and remove the bushing. Disengage the thumb safety. Line the takedown notch up with the back of the slide stop. Push the slide stop out. Pull the slide all the way to the rear. Lift it up and slide it off. Then remove the spring guide. It is not necessary to field strip any further to clean the Colt 1911-22. To clean the Colt 1911-22, use a cleaning rod to push a solvent-soaked patch through the barrel. Let the solvent soak in the barrel for a minute or two. Take a bore brush and run it through the barrel a few times to loosen up fouling. Then use a cleaning rod and patch holder to push clean patches through the barrel until they come out clean. Then add a few drops of oil to a clean patch and run it through the bore. To clean the frame, use solvent-soaked patches or brush. Be sure to thoroughly clean the rails. Now put a few drops of oil on a patch to wipe down the outside of the barrel and frame. Then place one drop of gun oil on the disconnector, the hammer, and one drop of oil on each of the rails. To clean the slide, use a brush and solvent to scrub the breech face, and solvent-soaked patches or a brush to clean the surfaces of the slide. Wipe off the excess solvent. Finally, place one drop of oil on the firing pin and one drop on the extractor. To reassemble the Colt 1911-22, put the recoil spring guide in the frame, then take the slide and ease it over the barrel all the way to the rear and push the slide forward. Now, line the takedown notch up with the slot in the frame. Using a small tool, push the recoil spring guide forward. Place the slide stop under the slide stop spring and push it all the way in. Now push the slide forward and engage the safety. Set the gun on its rear end, muzzle pointing up. Put the barrel bushing in place and rotate it clockwise. Then install the recoil spring and rotate the barrel bushing counterclockwise until it locks. Check the safeties for proper operation. Make sure the gun is pointed in a safe direction. Magazine is removed and there is no round in the chamber. Grip the pistol, engage the thumb safety, and pull the trigger. Nothing should happen. Now check the grip safety, disengage the thumb safety, pull the trigger without depressing the grip safety. The hammer should not fall. Check the disconnect safety by pulling the slide back, then push the slide back approximately one quarter inch and hold it. Pull the trigger to make sure the hammer does not fall. Now check to make sure the hammer will fall, but do not dry fire the Colt 1911-22 since it is chambered for rimfire cartridges. Visually check to make sure there is not a round in the chamber. 
insert the empty chamber indicator. Point the gun in a safe direction. Grip the pistol to depress the grip safety and pull the trigger. The hammer should fall. If any of the safeties fail or the pistol does not fire after reassembly, it is advisable that you repeat the disassembly and reassembly steps again or contact the Umarex USA Service Department for assistance.